Howdy folks, I'm here at the Portland Roadshow. This is Alan, I'm here with Steve. He's from Washington, he brought this beautiful Graham, 38 Graham Cabriolet Custom that he built himself. And uh, we're gonna talk to him and uh, see what all he's done. And uh, this is a hand-built car, he's working on another one. And uh, we're gonna have Steve talk about it. Yeah, hi. It uh, obviously it was a four-door sedan originally, and uh, turned it into a two-door. Excuse me, a four-door cabriolet uh, because it does not have roll-up windows, and so uh, the difference would be uh, town town sedan or, or uh, convertible sedans always had roll-up windows, and the, the Phaeton's cabriolets had uh, snap-in type windows. And it's got a custom chassis, air ride suspension. Uh, it's powered by a 302 Ford with an AOD and a nine inch rear end and has disc brakes and power steering and all that good stuff. Uh, the running boards are deleted. The doors are lengthened. Uh, the windshield is chopped about an inch. Uh, a lot of subtle modifications to the back of the car to accommodate the uh, convertible top mechanism which actually functions its power and it is out of a 64 Chevelle with extensive modifications. And uh, the rear skirts are factory and the uh, front skirts I fabricated. And uh, it's got uh, suicide doors that it did not have originally and the B-pillar is eliminated so that the actual doors, uh, the door strikers are mounted to the side of the seat. So, of course, that means, well, the seat's not adjustable, but hey, it looks cool and it's, you know, not exactly a practical car by any means, but uh, that's it. Yeah, that's incredible. Uh, just the unique uniqueness of this car. Um, like how many, I, I can't even imagine you could come up with how many hours are in this car, but ha how many uh, years did it take to, uh, from start to finish, and how long of a project did, uh, you know, have you been working on this? Uh, about eight years total, you know, uh, moderately, constantly, I mean, you know, after work and then weekends, so uh, yeah, it was a lot longer than I anticipated, but you know, you know life gets in the way and stuff happens, you know, so. But I'm really pleased with the end result. You know, it turned out beautifully, and I've always wanted one because when I was a, in junior high, way back in the '60s, I saw one of these things sitting in a wrecking yard, and I thought, "Wow, that is just a total Art Deco radical-looking thing." And I knew nothing about them, so you know, I investigated them, and eventually I found this one in Eastern Washington, and it was a parts car to another restoration, and uh, it was really rough, you know, but uh, I was going to cut it up anyway, so I figured, hey, what the heck, you know, uh, I can make something out of this. So I got it, and it had a title, extra bonus. <laughs> that is an extra bonus. Yeah, I mean, walking around the show, I mean, there's so many great cars, and, uh, and the quality at this show is just uh, off the scale, but um, this one, I know, caught my eye. Uh, it, it's so unique and, and uh, you know, doesn't look like all the other ones and, and uh, just really stands out and you did such a great job. Um, can you uh, show us the doors and, and maybe uh, make it go up and down? I know you got the air ride suspension and uh, oh, it's yeah. just such a cool car. We'd like to see some features. Yeah, we can do that. That'd be great. I don't know if you guys can see how low on the ground this is, but it is sitting right down on his display floor.
the amount of detail on the interior. Just a beautiful car. So I know, uh, Steve, you uh, mentioned the other day when I was talking with you that you're working, you're gonna start another project or have started another project? Yeah, I have a, uh, a 39, which is identical to this car. And uh, it is also a pile of rust and stuff. So uh, I'm turning that into like a, a youth, Australian youth or a Ish style body, so it's a it's a four door also, and uh, you know I've got it's going to have a Morrison frame, and I've got some of the body under construction now, but it's it's going to be a while before I get that finished. So yeah. it's something to look forward to in the future. Oh, absolutely! We're looking forward to seeing that in future shows, and that's I mean. The talent that, that takes to do all that is incredible. I mean, is that your background doing that type of work, or is it just something as a hobby? Well, it's it's really a hobby that's kind of grown into a slash small business. I've been a mechanic for all my life and always been into cars, and you know, so I would do this, you know, as a hobby. And now I'm a little older, and uh, it's kind of a part-time job. And uh, you know, it's. Uh, it's fun. I just, I just really enjoy trying to figure out stuff and engineer it and, and you know, make it kind of low buck. You know, I mean, I don't have a lot of money, so if I can do it myself, well, hey, I'm going to do it myself. You know, so that's that. Yeah. Well, that's you know, a lot. Of, I'm a do it, do it yourself or as well, and I mean, that's what it takes, especially when you get into this type of. Uh, realm of showing you know to, to go and buy something like this and what it's worth after you're done you know takes uh, quite a little bit more money than what you can do to start with like you say with a you know uh, a lot of rusty car and uh, turn it into something beautiful as you did it's just incredible so a lot of talent and kudos to you yeah. well I appreciate that and now the key's been on for a while the compressor's charged we can raise the car okay Soon. Thanks. Bye bye. That is awesome. And believe it or not, that is ride height. That's about as far. High as it goes. Wow. So, how many inches is that? That it actually. Uh, I think it only goes up about three and a half, maybe four on a good day. Yeah. So, that probably makes it a little tough uh, going in and out of uh, driveways oh, yeah. or. Speed bumps, gas stations. It's totally scary. Yeah, that's. I have, I have done damage to it, you know, because I do drive it. Yeah, well, that's good. I mean, I know a lot of these show cars uh, are trailer queens, but the ones that, that do get driven after, you know, guys build them to enjoy them, and that's what I think you need to do to an extent, you know, so. Yeah, I like to drive them. Yeah, absolutely. You're that's gonna, You're going to get rock chips, and that's just a fact of life. Yeah. yeah like, like Boyd used to say, you know, after several years, you just got to repaint them, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's great, but I mean, just the, the craftsmanship and what you put into that car will always be there. Like you say, if you have to repaint it or, or repair a rock chip, that's that's worth the uh, the time and effort that uh, to enjoy the car. So, 
Steve, thank you very much. I won't take up any more of your time, but I appreciate uh, you spending a little bit of time, and I'm finally glad uh, we got to do this. So it's an incredible car, and appreciate it, and hope you uh, continue to enjoy it, and good luck on your uh, future projects. All right, thanks for having me. You bet.